Quick parts are used to store selected text and or graphics called building blocks for a quick insertion into an email. So for example, if I go ahead and let's do this real quick, insert illustrations, online pictures, let's type in happy ghost, hit enter, let's try to find somebody who's happy, oh that's spooky, oh there's my happy guy, select him, click on insert, and of course he's huge, so we want to come up here on the related contextual format tab to the size group, let's do maybe an inch, and then down below him type in some text, we hunt only happy ghosts, hit enter, maybe we have a table, insert a table that has maybe the number of happy ghosts we caught thus far for April, we caught 20 for May, we caught 30. In any case, if I want this in a lot of my emails, I can go ahead and click and drag to save all of that as a building block. So to go ahead and save that for future emails, you can come up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the Text Group, there's Quick Parts, click on it, and there you go, Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. Click on Save, and then the name. Okay, we got an asterisk you want. Happy Ghost. And then that's going to be stored in the Quick Parts Gallery. Uh, the category, I'm going to leave it general. You can click on the drop-down arrow and create a new category. I'm not going to do that. And then the description, type it in. What I will say is this, as I cover the Quick Parts or Building Blocks, in greater detail in Microsoft Word, again, the body of the message being an element of Word that contains a lot of the commands and the same features. So if you want to go over it in greater detail, you can watch my Word training video on Quick Parts. Go ahead and click OK. So let's go ahead and close out. I don't want to save it. It's time for a new email. Double click to open it up. I'm like, hi. And I type in the body of my message, and then towards the end of the message, or at any point where I want to put in that happy ghost picture with the table and the text, I don't have to go back and do all that again by inserting it, finding it online, the happy ghost, and then typing in the text. Well, remember I saved it as a quick part. Come up here, click on the Insert tab, go over to the text group, Quick Parts, click on it. There he is. Oh, he's happy. And then you can go ahead and, if you want, right-click on him. If you need to make edits to the properties or you want to delete them, let's just go ahead and click on it so you can see, hey, he's right there. It wasn't that fast. Oh, isn't that great? And then, like I said, you can come up here, quick parts, right-click on them, go to organize and delete, and I just have the one. So I can go ahead and delete them or edit the properties. That is, if I want to change the category, change the name, or even the gallery. Let me click cancel and close. Keep it simple here. Go ahead and watch my word training video on quick parts for a more detailed training on quick parts. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.